Hey guys, I'm going live right now because I just left my store moments ago and I have bought these programs, believe it or not, off of Facebook Marketplace here in Evansville. They're very brittle. I should probably be wearing uh, something to turn the pages, but uh, some classic, classic Evansville, Indiana stuff. Uh, this is way before my time. Uh, this is them. What was this? What date? And they were they were pre apologizing for gorgeous George not making the show at some point in uh, 1956. Some of these were signed, but the the autographs were so faint. Uh, I'm sure Cornette may appreciate these, actually. Uh, some of the autographs, we'll get to them. There's, there's like a Chris Tolos uh, autograph there. And then I have, I guess that, that would be John Tolos. That's really, really faded. My lighting is awful right now. I'm in the kitchen here. So uh, let's see here. It was a card there. Well, Bill... Longson, uh, Ethel and Baz, which was because kind of for back in the day, I, you know, I'd love to do some research on these two women. Because uh, back then, I mean, first off, there was all sorts of segregation still going on. And uh, to have two African-American women going against each other is pretty monumental. I don't know how much, how often that happened, but, uh, here we go. I have no idea whose autograph that was. These are some of the better ones, actually. I don't think that doesn't look like Enrique Torres in any way. That does look like John Tolos, Chris Tolos. And then you had some Luthez, uh, Strangler Lewis, Enrique Torres, John, Sammy Berg, Ray Orbano, Antoine Leo. Sammy Berg, there we go. That's who that is, Sammy Berg. I was off. I'm not even showing you the back. So, uh, Ray Urbano autograph. Some of these bars in these pages are still in business. It, it, it's amazing. Like I'm trying to see. Uh, Woods Drugstore has been gone for decades and decades. Just trying. There was a uh, lots of controversy when uh, Enrique Torres autograph. I don't even know how much some of these would be worth. These are 1955. I found a second stack of them at the store. I didn't even notice this was signed. Ooh, the, this camera actually shows it up pretty well. Is that Bobby Manigoff? I think he was billed from, uh, and I can't tell if something was. Could have been signed right there, but it's so faded away. Lots of these uh, Barbara Baker, Ethel Brown. There was even a Betty White. The uh, promoter was Balkan back then. This is the one I didn't even see. Check, look at that. The lady told me these were signed, but I had no idea. I need to find an example of a gorgeous George, so. Uh, and then there's another Bobby. According to the granddaughter of this lady, she traveled uh, all around the Midwest. Wilbur Snyder autograph and uh, Ray, Ray Gunkel. I'll be dang. Didn't see a Wilbur Snyder. Oh yeah, Wilbur Snyder right there. Uh, this is the one I think. Man, these are these weren't meant to survive at all. These were a dime back then, so the dime didn't didn't uh, go far. Let me see, Woods Drug Store. Here we go, Betty White. Pretty sure that's not. Oh, there we go. Seven uh, Eleven Tavern is still in business today. That is crazy. Uh, Johnny, Johnny Valentine, I believe. It's really faint. It's not bad. This is a different kind of paper than the others. Uh, Wilbur Snyder again. 
Uh, it's hard to turn these pages. What else was that? Let's see, Rainbow Cleaner, Signal Liquor, Smitty Steakhouse, Jones Shop. That's none of those are still there. That's for sure. I don't know if anyone's watching it. It's just kind of a cool little find. That looks like it may have faded completely. But the Gorgeous George ones are pretty cool. This lady packed, packed these with her from city to city. Uh, what else here? Bobby Maganoff. Man, uh, I mean, I'm no... Uh, I may consider myself a slight historian, but this is, as I said, way, way, way before my time. This evidently was a pretty big show. World Championship title match, Whipper Bill Watson. I'm not even checking the backs. I'm, af I'm afraid to touch these things. You know, that's another one sign, but you can't really, it's so faint. Uh, no idea who that is. Looks like possibly Aldo. No, Aldo uh, Bongi. Bongi? Wait a minute. See, look at look at this. Okay. I can't see anything when it's like that, but that one just says gorgeous George. It's again Billy Star, Betty Hawkins, Bell Star. Just having some fun, looking at some history. Gorgeous George. Oh, here's another. Oh, okay. Here, or was this the one I saw? Well, I can't even remember. Very faded. If you zoom back this far, you can't even see the autographs on there. So, yeah, that one's really faded. I got to find do something to take care of these, so. And I guess they build this guy as a low, even though Chicago is five hours, six hours away from Evansville, they would build this guy as kind of a local uh, until, I guess, Rip Hawk later. But cool stuff. You never know what's going to walk into your store. Uh, again, gorgeous George autographs, Wilbur Snyder. I had no idea. I, I mean, occasionally we'll come across a lot of 1980s Evansville programs, Memphis stuff. But I have never, ever had these, especially some with signatures, albeit faded almost completely unrecognizable on some of them. But some of them, this is weird paper. It's stuck a little bit, stuck a little bit uh, throughout the years. So... Thanks for watching. Just a little piece of oddball history that we find. There's the big one. Good God, that's nice looking. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Appreciate it. I hope I can get out of this thing.